Hello, I'm Brooks Mayberry, and I am going to go over Genesis 22, which is the offering of Isaac. In verse 1, it says that Abraham was going to be tested by God, and he said, here I am. He said, take your only son, whom you love, and offer him there, offer him at the land of Mount of Moriah as a burnt offering, which also is similar to when God sent his son Jesus to be sacrificed for us. Uh, verse 3, Abraham got up early the next morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. He split wood for the burnt offering and set out and went to the place which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham raised his eyes and saw the place from a, dif from a distance. This is similar to when um, the third day Jesus resurrected. Um, and it says here that on the third day, Abraham saw the place which he would have to sacrifice his son at. Abraham said to his two young men, stay here with the donkey, and I and the boy will go over there and we will worship and return to you. Abraham took the wood of, for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac. This is just like when Jesus carried the cross to go up to where he would be um, hung on the cross. He laid it on his son Isaac and he took in his hand the fire and the knife so the two of them walked on together. Isaac spoke to his father Abraham and said, My father, and he said, and he said, here I am, my son. And he said, look, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself for the burnt offering, my son. So the two of them walked on together. They came to the place of which God had told them, and Abraham built the altar and bound his son Isaac onto the altar on top of the wood. His only son, he bound onto an altar. That is how much he loved God. Abraham reached out with his hand to, with the knife to slaughter his son, but an angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, here I am. He was told, do not reach out your hand and do not do anything to the boy. And he, and the angel blessed Abraham for his faith to the Lord. <laughs> Behind Abraham was a ram with his horn stuck in the thickets, which foreshadows the crown of thorns Jesus wore on the cross. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it instead of um, his son, which can be foreshadowed as Jesus was the substitute sacrifice because we were supposed to receive the punishment, but Jesus took the punishment for us. Abraham then named that place the Lord will provide, as it is said to this day. He called it this because on the mountain, the Lord provided for him a substitute sacrifice so his son may live. In verse 16, it says, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will greatly bless you and I will greatly multiply your seed as the stars of the heavens and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your seed shall possess the gates of their enemies. And in you, seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Abraham then returned to his young men, and they got up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham lived in Beersheba. To recap, I'm going to explain how Genesis 22 foreshadows the uh, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. In verse 2, it says, Take your son, whom you love, Isaac, and offer him there as a burnt offering. This can relate to how Jesus was going to be sacrificed on the cross for us. In verse 4, it says, On the third day, Abraham raised his eyes and saw the place he would sacrifice his son from a distance. This foreshadows how on the third day after Jesus was killed that he would that he was resurrected. This and Abraham sacrifice was going to sacrifice his son on the third day of journey. In verse six, it says Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac. 
this foreshadows how Jesus would carry the cross on his back up to the place where he would be hung on the cross. Near the end of verse 9, it said, Abraham bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar as Jesus was bound to the cross. In verse 13, it says that behind Abraham, there was a ram caught in the thickets by its horns, and as the thickets were stuck in the ram's head, Jesus also wore a crown of thorns while being nailed to the cross. This concludes my Abraham project on Genesis 22 and how it relates to the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thank you.